Hi everyone! It's been a while. I wanted to do a quick video, a, a little check-in about what's going on, how I'm using my journals, how my 219 setup is working out for me. So, uh, I don't know. If you're interested, uh, stick around, take a look. I'll do a little desk tour, just something quick and easy, something something maybe to watch or uh, let run in the background while you're journaling or doing something fun and creative or crafty. So let's begin. Uh, the main thing I'm using, and I'm using it for the longest time now, it's the uh, Camel Color Traveler's Notebook regular size. And uh, maybe you already know it houses my uh, weekly insert. Um, that's something that that's become a staple for me. Something I, if I don't do anything, I always do my weekly, and um, it's one of my favorite things in the world. So um, there are just a, a couple of snippets of the week, a couple of highlights, a couple of memories and um, a lot of washi and stamping and stickers and uh, fun bits from Happy Mail I enjoy so that's mostly it so let's take a look um, this is the uh, plastic folder thingy that just houses a beautiful postcard and uh, some bits and pieces and uh, photos um, it's, it continues in the back with a couple of photos and washi samples and there's the insert so this is volume four of this size um, so the fourth volume of the regular size I'm using so each insert is about six months and this is okay I'm coming up to two years of using this but this is the first uh, time I'm using the vertical so here it goes started on New Year's and there's just a couple of weeks we're, we're at the beginning of 219 so week number two uh, the vertical is um, uh, a bit of a challenge for me i love it uh, i was greatly inspired by mitts and uh, sana and jobs journal uh, journal uh, they uh, used or still do use some of them in the weekly vertical and i loved uh, I loved how their spreads looked, so I wanted to try it. Um, I'm beginning to notice that my style changed as the layout changed, and uh, I've been using more colors, more stickers, more... I don't know, I think it's more all over the place, but I'm having fun. I do um, sometimes miss the collaging I did when I used the uh, horizontal. Um, here was the writing part, and this was a blank page, so I, I sometimes did um, big collages and a lot of uh, papers on papers and papers on stamping and layering and things, so uh, and the thing with the vertical is uh, you're going to cover up all your days. And um, so what's happening here, um, I, I do a thing like mini collages. I, I don't know how to call it, but just clusters of things here and there. And it seems to be working out. It's fun. It's colorful. It's bright. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. So... This is what I've got this far. This is this week. Today is Sunday. This is the current week. And this is some prepping I did for the following weeks. Sometimes when I feel inspired or have some bits I want to use up, I will start um, next week or the week after that. Just put something down and, and, and as time goes by, I just add more. So this is what's going on here. And... Uh, uh, this is kind of getting in the way, but I've fallen in love with Avril Yarn lately, and uh, you can see it a lot in the spreads, and it's going to bulk up my notebook, but never mind. So that's the weekly. That's my main thing. Um, the thing that's changed, uh, as I mentioned before in the previous videos, I'm not using 
the Hobonichi anymore. Uh, 218 was fun. Hobonichi was fun, but um, time for something new. So I figured out I was really using it to house memories. I didn't journal about a specific day most of the time. Uh, I, um, I was constantly behind or um, having spurs of uh, journaling time and journal a uh, whole week at, at once. So that didn't make sense um, taking into consideration the dates, uh, the dated pages. So I wanted to leave the Hobonichi behind and what happened was I needed a place to house um, happy mail memories, uh, happy mail uh, papers, uh, trinkets, uh, everything that I share or exchange with my pen pals. Um, I, love, I love holding on, on to these, but not in a box or somewhere tucked away. I wanted to make spreads out of it, what I did in the Hobonichi from time to time. So the Aleph edition became, they call it the junk journal. I love the term treasure journal, and I'm using this wonderful handmade insert. And um, this is what's going on. Um, I put down the name and the date um, of the person that sent me some happy mail, is pen pal or an order or something unexpected or whatever I want to keep. And I make spreads. I put down bits and pieces. Maybe I'll put down a few words. Uh, maybe I'll um, journal a little bit longer, but uh, it's usually just a word here and there, uh, just a date and to remember by who it's from. So, yeah, this is what's going on. These are some older postcards. I've rearranged my desk and I took down the postcards that were on this part here because I got a new... A uh, wooden shelf thingy to house my stamps and wax seal stamps. So that's what's going on. So um, I tucked those postcards uh, in here uh, to keep them. So there it is. And as you can see, <laughs> look at this, it's gorgeous. These are tea bags. Uh, Marike. Um, me and my happy desk. Oh, I'm sorry, I hope I didn't uh, pronounce your name wrong. Uh, she sent me some wonderful happy mail and she stored little bits and pieces in tea bags and that's just such a wonderful idea. I actually found uh, empty tea bags in a shop locally. I'm so gonna copy you. I'm sorry. It's, it's gorgeous. So that's it. Uh, uh, this is from um, Paper Pretty Ink. I, I was so lucky. I want to give away. <laughs> And uh, she sent me this wonderful package of uh, so many wonderful goodies and everything was packed individually and stamped and washed and uh, it was gorgeous. I, I wanted to make memory of it. This is from Eva, the latest happy mail. And that's it. Um, that's it for now. So I uh, reach for this when I have... Papers, ephemera, stickers, washi, letters, postcards, memories from Happy Mail. It's actually a Happy Mail journal. Let's call it that. And it usually sits over here. Okay. Um, okay. This was the Habonichi cover. It's empty now. I'm just holding on to it. This is the watercolor journal. Um, I have a video. Uh, that covers my watercolor journal and my craft journal setup and what's going on. So you can find it on my profile. I won't go into these again because nothing changed. It was recent. I don't want to waste your time. So, But if you're interested, I'll try to do a thing where a link will pop up somewhere here or something. I've seen people do it, so it can lead you to that video if you're interested. Okay? Um, but what do we have? We have the empty diary, Midori diary, one day, one page. So this is love. <laughs> I'm so glad I switched from the Hobonichi to this thing because I'm in love with it. I I'm obsessed with it. It's, um, it's the Midori paper. It's smooth. It's kind of creamy, but not too creamy. It's not bright white. 
Uh, it doesn't need a cover because this cover is actually really beautiful. Um, it's in the A5 size. You can see, you can see with the regular size TN, it's broader. It's the same height, but it's broader. So I have more room and I appreciate that because as I said, my style changes from time to time. I'm just trying new things, so it's fun. Uh, I actually got it in September last year as they published. They started selling it. I didn't want to miss out, and it was so hard not to start using it. But I was good. I just did the monthlies, and the monthlies are so minimal. Uh, just birthdays or some really important anniversaries. And just a little pop of color or a sticker here and there. I'm loving the print on stickers. Um, I'm actually using them a lot here. So as you can see, some pages are not even decorated. I just started some things here and there before 219 kicked in. And I still have to finish it. But birthdays are in and the important dates are in. So yeah. Um, this is the first thing I did, actually. Let me show you. Uh, there's this thing um, that Desiree started, um, Cafe Analog. If you don't know Cafe Analog, go on Instagram and go on her web page. It's a wonderful cafe slash stationery shop. Uh, Desiree um, is the owner. And she's a wonderful lady and started this project. Um, it's a series of monthly uh, journaling prompts and challenges. It's called Project Me 19. There's a hashtag on Instagram you can follow. Uh, check it out. Uh, you can find more info in my highlights on my Instagram and on her webpage, Cafe Analog. Uh, I won't go into details what it's all about, but basically... Find the word for 219, follow the prompts, have fun. <laughs> uh, it's It's been such a joy uh, for now, and it's only February. I, I Every month I'm looking forward to new prompts and new challenges. So uh, this is what I've been doing, actually, in this diary. I don't journal every day. I, I can't find the time, but uh, I follow these prompts. Uh, you can do it once a month, twice a month, every day, three times a day. It depends on you. But I, I, um, for January, it was once a month for me. There was the word. Mine is embrace. There's some journaling I did about that. Uh, there's the monthly check-in. You check in with yourself, with your word, with uh, how you're feeling. So there's that. This is February. It was all about your uh, your or someone else's zodiac sign. Something to explore. Something fun. Um, something maybe to look into to see if it's your thing. It's not your thing. It doesn't matter. Just contemplate on it and uh, see what you think. So there's February and. Uh, for uh, for February, uh, there's the. This is only the start. <laughs> I didn't journal. I just made the the little washi stickers because the thing is um, to <laughs> to make the gray go away. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Away with the gray. Uh, calling for spring and all the nice warm weather. So. Use all your washi or, I don't know, colorful papers, whatever you have at hand. It's not important. Just something colorful, something bright, something fun. Uh, and make a spread that will be popping of color and happiness and journal about it. So, there's my start. I've, <laughs> I've been so busy making these. It's a lot of work, but it's so much fun and it's an amazing thing uh, to do in bulk and... I don't know if you have pen pals. I'm sure they would appreciate to receive such pretty colorful stickers. So there's an idea. So that's it for now. 
it's February, just a couple of spreads, I know it's not daily, it's not much, but it's uh, what I can handle at the time, having a toddler at home and working full time. Uh, there's not a lot of happy desk time in my day, it's usually at night when my little one goes to bed and I have half an hour, 45 minutes at the most for myself, depending on my energy and I sit down. Sometimes I write a letter, sometimes I make a happy mail, a surprise mail, a sneaky mail, as I like to call it. Sometimes I do my weekly. Um, oh, there's my monthly. It's in the blue uh, traveler's notebook, a regular size. Uh, I don't have it at hand here. It's at my bag, so maybe uh, if I get the chance, I'll grab it and film it. But that's just the monthly insert. Yes, it's a bit decorated, colorful, but just important appointments uh, something I carry in my bag um, as an everyday carry so if I'll have the time uh, I will grab it and film it at the end uh, for now I would like to wrap this up so it's not too long uh, just a quick uh, tour of the desk what's changed is uh, I got this little wooden um, what's it called a tray um, I keep my fountain pens inside uh, the ones uh, I love using, so that's it. Um, this is actually, this is an extra fine Tweezby Echo. Um, this is Jay Herbin, um, some coral colored ink. It's, it's wonderful. It's something between pink and orange. It's a pretty ink color, and I love that it's a demonstrator pen, so you can see. Swish, swish. <laughs> Um, I use this one a lot. It's um, Caveco uh, Sport. Something with the lighting here. That there's a glare. So uh, it uh, has, uh, at the moment, it has gray ink inside. Uh, gray is a nice neutral color for um, whatever paper you're using. Um, so that's fine. And, oh, uh, Talking about uh, affordable but amazing fountain pens, uh, Platinum Preppy. This is extra fine, black. And I have uh, this one. I got I got it in the Stationery Selection subscription box. It's a uh, Platinum Preppy Crystal. It's all clear and uh, the black ink is inside. But we actually got uh, the blue one also. Uh, it's uh, 0.3. It's a bit thicker than the point three, uh, point two, obviously, but not so much. It's a fine tip. It's a good tip. Nice writing, uh, smooth writing. And there are some others here I don't use as often. This is some some cheap um, eBay. I wanted to try out eBay pen. Uh, there's no brand. There's no nothing. I just wanted to test it. It was like a buck or something funny and it has some turquoise ink uh, I don't write with turquoise a lot uh, just maybe for some details and I put it in here just to have it at hand if I want to switch out a color so those are the pens um, wooden box holding some washi stamps uh, this is the washi tray and the wax seal tray it's uh, it's packed full <laughs> uh, rubber stamps in this uh, wooden shelving unit thingy and this is the new one and this setup is not quite done um, there are still a couple of stamps I'm waiting on to be delivered so I'll probably gonna switch it out mix it up a bit and uh, I'll put photos on my Instagram when I do it so you can see how I imagined uh, setting this up uh, this is the uh, uh, IKEA um, like a desk organizer thingy, it holds so much. This is a lifesaver. I, I really don't know where would I uh, put all this stuff if I didn't have this because random papers, I mean random, <laughs> really random papers, wrapping papers, all sorts of stuff. Brushes, uh, these are actually my son's wooden pencils. Uh, watercolor palettes. Um, those are some Tombow um, brush markers or um, Ecoline brush pens, watercolor brush pens, um, some pens for calligraphy, uh, all this thing. 
this is the best white gel pen ever Uniball signal I just got a fresh one because the other one died on me they die suddenly and they die completely <laughs> there's no telling oh my pen is running out I better get a new one no it just just dies <laughs> so better have two if you love it uh, some baggies uh, for I don't know stamps six stamped paper stickers for happy mail and things this is my address stamp um, these are just some cards for washi samples that are handy to have around uh, glue scissors uh, this is the cutest little stapler I found it it was my dad's I found it in his stash uh, unfortunately I only found out he was a stationary lover after he passed away uh, he had a stash of pens and mechanical pencils and staples and um, I think he had a thing for stationery but I didn't really pay attention to it so it's uh, funny but I have a couple of his things and a couple of wooden boxes he had a thing for wooden boxes also so it's nice to have it this was his actually um, washi samples and uh, yeah that's it I think uh, this is the top of my desk uh, fountain pen ink uh, this is a wonderful brown color uh, what's it called organic brown it's warm and it's reddish actually it, it's a pretty color uh, okay flowers pine cones this is just some decoration this is um, a glass box to house my Avril yarn still waiting on a couple more um, to arrive and this is where they will live and this is a box where I hold my happy mail but actually it's empty now because uh, I've gone through all my letters uh, sorted them out uh, and I'm archiving 218 and I'm keeping 219 in here because it was overflowing the letters were falling out <laughs> so I had to do the uh, archiving thing so this is it uh, I'm done thank you for sticking by thank you for listening me ramble uh, I know I skipped the monthly I'll see if I have the time to grab it now and if I do I will just uh, glue the other part of the video to this one so it will continue but if I don't thank you so much for stopping by uh, if you liked it like the video subscribe um, visit my Instagram chat with me get in touch uh, this uh, analog community is awesome and I really appreciate all of you keeping in touch and chatting with me and uh, sharing inspiration so this is I don't know I hope this is a contribution from my side uh, have a lovely Sunday or whatever day it is you're watching this and talk soon see you soon bye I literally have two minutes uh, I grabbed the uh, blue travelers notebook it's uh, again regular size um, it's not that old it's two or three months old but look at the scratches I keep it in my bag it's it's amazing how much it scratches and uh, I love it because it ages so beautifully it's not velvety like the camel it's pretty smooth but soft to the touch and nice nice uh, nice uh, leathery feel it's not cold or stiff so that's a plus in my book so this is it um, uh, there's the wallet insert I got from uh, my husband for Christmas the Superior Labor and Bon Kuchen, um collaboration the wallet insert thingy it's amazing I, I love it and I love using it daily and it accompanies me everywhere and yeah just really precious and so blessed to have it to have the opportunity to use it and make it my own uh, this is a monthly insert and as I said important appointments birthdays anniversaries uh, notes and happy mail checker what I sent what I need to send and what I received so I don't get lost in the mailbox madness <laughs> I don't skip anything so that's it 
uh, craft folder for some papers and the back of the wallet insert. This little guy didn't see the sun at all. I'm thinking about changing it. Uh, because when spring comes by and sun begins to shine, I think I will uh, give it uh, some sun to make it a bit uh, darker and patina. I, I don't know. I'll see. Because I really, I really love the pinkish color, the natural color of this leather. It looks uh, lovely with the blue and with the brass and uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll just let it happen as it happens. Maybe I'll let it sit in the sun for a while. I don't know. I'll keep you posted. That's it. I gotta go. Thank you for sticking by for this part also. Bye.